G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this video is the announcement for the winners of the Challenge of the Month for August 2016. And the theme of the Challenge of the Month was Tale Tellers, where participants were invited to create a depiction of a storyteller, be it uh, someone in history or someone in recent history or someone today, and illustrate them surrounded by the atmosphere and or characters of the stories that they told. Now, unfortunately, I'm unable to showcase all of the entries in this video, but I highly recommend checking out the amazing hard work and talent of all of our participants. So by clicking the link on the screen and in the description, you will go to the slideshow video, which shows everyone's entries and they are absolutely amazing. I am blown away and Every month, this is a very difficult time for me because I actually have to choose uh, who gets in the showcase and also choose some winners. And it's it's really difficult, but I really can't thank you all enough for entering and would really like to encourage you to go watch that slideshow to enjoy everyone's amazing work and participation. And one last thing before we race ahead into the showcase and winners in this video, I'm really excited to announce that the very next challenge of the month, the video we'll be announcing uh, later this week, is going going to be our yearly animation challenge of the month. So I know loads of you animators out there have been really waiting and looking forward to the animation challenge of the month. It's coming, it's next. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for the video, which will be coming out later this week. But I'm really excited to be announcing that and that will be loads of fun once again. Anyway, now back on track, I'm excited to, without any further ado, jump into the showcase of the August 2016 challenge of the month tale tellers. This piece by artist T. Sitzkavia, sorry I ruined your name, uh, is called J.R.R. Tolkien's World. I really like that mix of cold and hot colours and the way that ties in with the ring, the dragon and Tolkien and even the subtleties like the texture and map on his face. Artist Cortexafan 7's depiction of Rebecca Sugar is absolutely delightful. I love the aesthetics mixed here, the painterly style of our tale teller and the really cute characters surrounding her. Artist Meridra depiction in a distant secondhand set of dimensions shows Terry Pratchett surrounded by characters from his Discworld novels. A nice balance of colour and details and ambition. Artist Cosetna depicted Jean de la Fontaine. I'm sorry, others, I'm not good at speaking French. But anyways, um, as an animal lover, this artist has really enjoyed the fairy tales of this tale teller. And so for their depiction, they chose the French storyteller in the night shift. Artist Nico Manis depicted Alex Hirsch in Gravity Falls. I love the cartoony style, the way the light is bouncing off of the characters and that really charming aesthetic throughout. Artist Goy Gal painted Glenn Keane surrounded by amazing uh, array of all the characters and stories he's been a part of telling. Really enjoy this piece and that fantastic painterly style and ambitious lighting. This is artist Cute Crazy with a depiction of C.S. Lewis surrounded by his Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe characters. A really nice painterly aesthetic here with a mix of undertoned and earthy colours that is carried off really well. Artist Landis Rumble depicted Masahiro's dream. Depiction of Masahiro Sakurai, most famous for developing Nintendo's most notable Super Smash Bros games, which he used as a platform to tell personal stories in an effective way. The piece has a really nice rendered style uh, in its traditional aesthetic. The Rabid Werewolf depicted a master of horror, Stephen King, surrounded by some of his most notorious characters. Really effective lighting, painterly textures and extremely terrifying characters and depictions here. Fantastic work. Artist Nikki Draw depicted the brothers and as you might have guessed it is a depiction of the brothers Grimm surrounded by the, the fairy tales that they uh, encapsulated in their stories and passed on. Some of the most famous stories included in this depiction are Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Rapunzel and Red Riding Hood. And last but not least this artist So Real depicted the Loonies Alive, a depiction of the Looney Tunes coming to life from the animated page with their storyteller in front of them with a bit of a cheeky smile on his face. I love that physical feeling of these characters that uh, our artist has captured a really nice solid aesthetic both with a mix of 3D textured painting and some lighting around the rims of the characters and the way they mix with the atmosphere. They are incredible entries. I'm so grateful for your participation and for everyone contributing such amazing talent. Now it's time to move on to the prize categories for the challenge of the month starting off with the beginning 
category. And now it's time to move on to the prize winning categories for the challenge of the month, starting off with the beginner category. And uh, the beginner category is a section that people can opt into if they're new or inexperienced in their illustration and art uh, development. The runner up for the beginner category is artist Amelia, who's created a piece called One Writer to Rule Them All, the depiction of J.R.R. Tolkien in front of his world of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. This artist has put in so much work and effort into creating a really crisp artwork and mixing color really effectively. And I love the way everything is framed within the one ring and we can see all of the characters clearly and recognizably. And it's also a really nice depiction of the author J.R.R. Tolkien. And I feel like this piece really nicely encapsulates that feeling that he must have had when writing Lord of the Rings, how everything must have been so real and vivid in his own imagination as he brought those stories to us in such a tangible way. And now the winner of the beginner category is artist Miglez with a piece called Harry Potter World. Not only does this piece have loads of drama and a really dramatic and uh, ambitious composition, but the way this artist has used overlapping on the frame with Harry Potter's arm catching the snitch and the way in particular the golden sunset is being caught in several parts of the images uh, around the clouds, around Dumbledore's hat and the castle and subtle things like the lighting of the snitch on Harry Potter's hand and the overall ambition, the way this all was so aesthetically well pulled off uh, and cleverly executed is so, so impressive and fantastic overall as a piece and well deserving of the beginner category first prize. Our beginner category runner up winner will be receiving an item of their choosing from the jazzstudios.com shop and our beginner category winner will be receiving three months free membership on the Adobe Creative Cloud as well as a signed how to draw book by best-selling author Christopher Hart and a Stillman and Byrne 5.5 by 8.5 Epsilon series hardbound sketchbook with the front page drawn on and signed by me and an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. And now ladies and gentlemen we have arrived to the announcement of the finalists and the prize winners for the open category of the August challenge of the month. All of these pieces are amazing and this is the pool of finalists that I selected the winners from. A very difficult decision that I can't really explain how conflicted it leaves me feeling every time but you will understand and see uh, by the caliber of these pieces how amazing they are and how difficult that decision was. That being said uh, the finalists and everyone in uh, this pool of finalists will be receiving a free copy of the Tale Teller Development Pack which is uh, a newly released item on the jazzastudios.com shop which is a very in-depth behind the scenes look at the creation of the Tale Teller animation. This includes every step of the creation process through voice acting, environment and animation creation all of which was screen captured and recorded over a thousand hours of work as well as pre-production, post-production, developmental concepts, the pitching process and loads more. This piece by Gwineria absolutely astounded me and has in my opinion was some of the best composition out of all of the entries for the challenge of the month and is incredibly ambitious and well executed. This next piece is by artist Rax Z entitled Miyazaki's Portal is a depiction again of Hayao Miyazaki surrounded by his creatures and characters but in a way that's really atmospherically impressive. I love that balance of contrast and including cold colors to create that feeling of wonderment and mysticism. This piece by Kaylee 1797 is called Storytime and shows Daddy Stanley holding and surrounded by the baby Marvel characters. I love the storyteller feeling this piece encapsulates both in the aesthetic and the way that the art style and brush strokes throughout this piece feel like something you would see in a children's storybook and also the fact that we see Daddy Stan Lee reading uh, his comics and surrounded by his characters in a storyteller like way. It's really effective and such a pretty piece to look at. This piece by artist Sam JV is called Hayao Miyazaki and the tales he's told and is another depiction of Hayao Miyazaki and his characters. A really nice painterly style and aesthetic, simple composition but really nice use of characters and colors here. There's an incredible amount of detail and I love that sheepish cute expression on Hayao Miyazaki's face. This piece by artist Paolo Magtira is called 5050, another amazing depiction of Hayao Miyazaki surrounded by his characters. I love the way the different aesthetics of these characters are mixed into the one piece. A fantastic combination of colors and a really nice painterly feel particularly to Miyazaki himself. Artist Nigram 888 depicted Shakespeare surrounded by his stories and characters. There's a really nice aesthetic in this piece that's a mixture of mysticism 
and macabre. I love that subtle, almost sapia mix of colors and the lighting throughout is very effective. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have now arrived to the runner up and first prize winner of the open category. Once again, a really difficult decision to make. So I hope you understand that I do the best that I can and there are a lot of contributing factors to the final decision that I make. And our runner up is a piece by Felly Pop and it's called A Hobbit's Tale, a depiction of J.R.R. Tolkien surrounded by his characters in The Hobbit. This is in my opinion, one of the most effective pieces in this Challenge of the Month competition where the artist has encapsulated the storyteller in the environment and story that they have told. And there's this really nice sense of physicality in particular areas of the image, such as the cheese and in Gandalf. And the lighting throughout the piece is incredibly warm and ambitious. There's a stunning amount of detail and texture and the expression uh, of warmth and familiarity on Tolkien's face is one that really carries the piece well. Our runner up winner will be receiving a copy of the art compilation book 21 Draw, as well as a brand new Stillman and Burn 9x12 Epsilon series sketchbook with the front page drawn on and signed by me and an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. And the first prize winner is artist Kuji Kiken with a piece called Tale Teller, Hayao Miyazaki. This piece is, I feel, full of subtles and extremes. Subtle in the expressions of the characters and the simple uh, but really effective composition, but with such extreme attention to detail, uh, amazing accuracy in the portrayal of the characters and the way that they all mix into this piece absolutely flawlessly and seamlessly. The colors are so carefully balanced and I have little I can say more of praise to this piece that won't come out as a blabbering mess because it's absolutely stunning. Our first prize winner will be receiving one year's free membership on the Adobe Creative Cloud, giving them access to all of Adobe's amazing industry standard software and programs, as well as the on-the-go apps that they have. They will also be receiving a medium Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, an amazing professional standard wireless digital tablet. The device is jam-packed with loads of amazing features. I highly recommend Wacom and all of their products. And the first prize winner will also be receiving an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The winners and runner-ups of both the open and beginner categories will receive one year's supporter status on Newgrounds.com. Newgrounds has been an independent animation and art and game focused website for over 20 years and has always prioritized its creators uh, and community above everything. And I highly recommend checking out Newgrounds, especially as of late, there's been some controversy around the place about YouTube's monetization and censorship. And that is something that Newgrounds has never done. They have never censored their artists and creators. So if that's something that you have a problem with on this platform, then maybe you should check out that platform and uh, becoming a supporter there, which plays a huge part in helping keep that website self-sustained and independent. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the Challenge of the Month competition. Not only are they providing amazing products and services, but they are all individuals and companies that I swear by and absolutely love. Can't recommend all of them highly enough. So definitely go check them out with the links on the screen and in the description. Thank you everyone who entered the challenge of the month. I am so grateful every time the end of the month comes around and I, I say this every time, it's this weird conflicting thing because I love all of the entries and I love going through all of them so much, but uh, unfortunately uh, I can only highlight and award so many. But I just would like to say a huge thank you to all participants for making this challenge of the month so special. And of course, once again, I would like to remind you all, especially animators out there, that the next challenge of the month is gonna be a doozy. So uh, get, your, get your animation skills ready. And if you haven't tried animating before, it, it hopefully might be a great first step to trying, trying something new out because animation is a fun and rewarding process. And uh, hopefully if you haven't taken that step before, this might be an encouraging way to try that out. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the challenge of the month. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe 
Join the Creative Cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.